Hi, I'm Adobe Stock artist evangelist, photographer, and stock contributor, Matt Hayward. In this quick class, we're gonna talk about your public portfolio page. As an Adobe Stock artist, your public portfolio page is the best way to show off your best work. The best way to do that is by using our customizable header and collection features to make your portfolio stand out. Here's how. Your header image is the first thing an Adobe Stock customer is gonna see when they visit your portfolio. And what that looks like is entirely up to you. First, a few quick tips. The image you select should be horizontal with the primary subject in the center. There's an aggressive crop to keep in mind and that can't be customized. So it may take some trial and error before you find an image that displays the way you want it to. All right, let's go. The first place you're gonna stop is the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal. The URL is contributor.stock.adobe.com. By default, you should find yourself on the dashboard page, which is where all the good stuff happens. If for some reason you're not there, simply click the dashboard link found near the top of the portal. If you have a specific image in mind for your header, you can pull it up using either the date or the download filter, or by entering the image's ID number into the file number box. If you don't know which image you wanna use yet, a good way to start is by browsing through your portfolio page. When you've selected the image you wanna use, locate it in the portal dashboard, click on the thumbnail and scroll down. There, you're gonna see a new display version of the image with a couple of options to the right of it. Pick your favorite and select Make Profile Cover Image. The system takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes to refresh and display your portfolio. While you're waiting for that to happen, go ahead and change your public display name if you need to do that by clicking the Contributor Account link found at the top of the Contributor Portal. Hover your mouse over display name and click the edit or pencil icon to enter in your custom text. A cool option you have to customize your public facing portfolio page is to showcase up to two custom collections containing images that you select. To create custom collections, go back to the dashboard page. Selecting images for a collection can be tough, especially if you have a lot to choose from. So a good way to start is by sorting your images by the upload date. You can also quickly locate a specific image using its individual file number. The best way to find a specific image number is to go to your public facing portfolio page and search for the image by keyword. When you find it, click on the image and copy the image ID number. You're gonna find that here. Now go back to the dashboard page in the contributor portal and paste the image number in the file number box. Hit enter, poof, there it is. Now let's add your images to a collection. Keep in mind that only images can be added to a collection, not video right now. So first, check each of the small boxes in the upper right corner of each image's preview thumbnail to select it. Then click the add to a collection button right here at the bottom of the page. You can either put the images into a collection that you've made previously, or you can create a new one. Simply add a name into the create a collection box and click create. You can feature up to two custom collections on top of page one of your portfolio page. To do this, click the link at the top of the dashboard that says collections. When you find the collection that you want to feature, click these three dots seen in the upper right hand corner. Then select feature on my public profile. If your collection doesn't show up right away, don't worry. It can take as long as 15 minutes for the system to refresh for this one too. So take a well earned break. So even though you can only feature two collections on your page, you can create as many custom collections as you want to keep your public facing portfolio page looking fresh.